This time on the show, getting started with the Ubertooth 1 and Spectrum analyzing 2.4 GHz. Your user picks for multi-boot USB creators, sexying up our favorite Wi-Fi monitoring tool, a Python feed aggregator, and more! This time on Hack 5. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by T-Mobile. Hello, welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. My name is Shannon Morse. And this is the Mouseketeers Sound Off. Shannon! Is that how they do it? I don't, I don't know. know. I always years. miss that show. I went to Disneyland. Yeah, I see that. Is it a cute? I went to Electronica and the World's a Color, and I haven't been there since I was five years old, so I went on Indiana Jones again, because all I remembered was the boulder coming down. Did you give yeah. me a token from Flynn's Arcade? No. It was kind of, you know, it was kind of sad mine. and depressing in Flynn's Arcade. What? There, was, there was no Galaga, no, I, no well, Sinistar. There's Galaga. It wasn't there when I was there. I've got a video of Galaga from it. Seriously? Okay, yeah. you'll have to show me that after I'll we record. I'll post my video later. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of like, hmm. But I did get Mickey, Mickey Mouse ears. Yeah? And I met Snow White. I, <laughs> I met the evil queen. Ooh. Even cooler or Snow White's cooler. She took all our Actually, pictures yes, like Snow this. Snow White is very cool. She <laughs> took all of her pictures like this. <laughs> we got mail. Did we? Yes. Oh, the uh, tube? Maybe we should tease what we're doing first. If you guys yeah. didn't notice in the cold <laughs> open, we're having a lot of fun with some uh, teeth of the Uber variety, doing mm. some uh, spectrum Delicious. analysis. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then we're rounding up some new multi boot goodies. Mm. Yes, lots of USB multi boot deliciousness from you guys, actually. And we're going to make Airmon NG sexy. It's mm. just, it's that easy. Stick around, we're going to have a lot of fun Delicious. today in the long form edition of Hack 5. I want to so know what this is. Watch all the part two and part three if you're on YouTube. Yeah, this is okay. Um, we get mail to 548 Market Street, number 39371, San Francisco, California, 94104. And this is a, this is something oh. that, what is this? Oh, it's a po uh, Techno Lust. I hope you enjoy these pictures. Check out more, uh, digitalagitation.com. I don't know if I should show and this. And my charity work on Facebook. Oh, that's, that's SFW. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's. There we go. It's Aww, it's a little they, bit of are they sisters. I don't know. I think they they, <laughs> okay. they like controllers and bondage. Well, thank you. Um, um, who cool. sent this to us? I guess uh, this was sent by. Does it say? Shutterfly. No. Oh, Shutterfly. <laughs> <laughs> well, Those thank you. Those are cute. We can. Uh, Paul, do you want these? I don't. I don't. I really. I'm not going to hang these in my office. The <laughs> you want the one with the N64 controller? It kind of looks like Pally. Uh, I see it kind of looks like that oh girl from the, um, from, you Maybe know, it is Callie. Or, Dude, uh, if that's the case, the I want it. the girl Chase video, Coder Girl. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Hot. Cool stuff. Thank you. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll send this on to another techno-lust loving individual that wins trivia or something. You've got to stick around for the D block for that hmm. kind of stuff. But thank you. It's delicious. And as always, <laughs> we enjoy receiving your floppy disks of Windows 3.1 or your Cool photos. Posters of Technolust. <laughs> there you go. Hey, why cool. not? Yeah, why not? <laughs> oh, right. So, so you want to find out about making uh, making the Uber Tooth all sexy and doing a little bit of spectrum analyzing? You know what? You uh -huh. have fun. Huh? I have to go build some multi-boot deliciousness. So I'll talk to you later, okay? Okay. Have a good time. All right, I will. I'll try to. Yeah. We've been asked a numerous times about how, about stuff. People ask us everything. One of the things, sorry, it's a really relaxed show today. One of the things that we're getting asked a lot though is uh, how to get started with the uh, Uber Tooth One. If we do a segment on, you know, just kind of a 101, you know, what it takes to, to get this guy up and running. And, you know, while this is specific to this hardware, really uh, what's involved is, is similar to many other tools. I know, right? So anyway, if you're not familiar, the Ubertooth One, it's an open source Bluetooth testing tool. It's made by Mike Osman, and it's in response to basically a lack of good Bluetooth testing devices, and really there's some ridiculously high-priced ones uh, in excess of $10,000 for like commercial monitoring equipment. So this is a, a very welcome alternative. Anyway, it's kind of in the same sense that we have inexpensive Wi-Fi adapters that can go into monitor or promiscuous mode, we now have the Ubertooth One. So 
First and foremost, props go to Harvest Gardener on the Backtrack Linux forms for putting a lot of this together. While most of the Ubertooth development was done in Mac OS X, uh, you can easily get it running up in Linux. It's not too difficult, thankfully. So today what I'm going to do is go ahead and set up the dependencies and compile the Ubertooth tools in Backtrack 5 Linux uh, on my host machine. So I guess that's kind of an important point. Currently, it does not work in a VM. Uh, there's kind of like some issues with libUSB, or at least I haven't been able to in VirtualBox. Uh, I may try again with KVM and, and get some different results, but we'll see. Anyway, the first dependency we're going to need is PySide. And if you're not familiar, PySide basically adds cute bindings to Python, letting it use that cross-platform UI framework for some graphical goodness. Yeah. Now, you can go ahead and actually download that manually from PySide.org or simply go ahead and install it from apt. Of course, unfortunately, it's not in the default Backtrack 5 repository, so you'll go ahead and just add yourself a little personal package archive or PPA. Uh, so let's just go ahead and start by installing the Python software properties. So apt get install Python. Whoops, if I can type. And then we'll add our apt repository. And we'll have to do an app get update. So this will take a minute. Go ahead and grab yourself some pineapple juice or whatever it is you love. And now we can actually go ahead and install those with apt get install. We'll need lib nl tech dev. Need lib USB tech 1.0, tech o tech dev, and the PySide tools. And now we're just going to need the Py USB extension, which basically provides USB access to Python. I know we're like pimping our Python today, huh? We'll go ahead and extract that archive. And install it. Now we're also going to need Bluetooth baseband libraries that will basically allow us to process raw Bluetooth data. And thankfully, libbtbb does just the trick. And again, extract. And in this instance, it's really just a matter of running make, and then make install. OK, so we're finally to the part where we actually get to the Ubertooth code. And as of recording, the latest version of the Ubertooth software is release 238. So I'm going to go ahead and w get that. And again, extract it. The archive contains the latest firmware for both the Ubertooth 1 and the Ubertooth 0, as well as the KiCad files if you're so inclined to make your own Ubertooth. It also has the documentation and the host software, which includes a few Bluetooth tools, Kismet plugin, and a little fun spectrum analyzer. You see, since the Bluetooth operates in the same 2.4 gigahertz ISM band as Wi-Fi, we can actually use the Ubertooth one as a basic spectrum analyzer and see all of the Wi-Fi signals in a given area. So in that case, what we're going to do here is run, uh, let me ls here, yeah. So there it is, the, um, the uh, spectrum analyzer UI. So Python spec n underscore ui dot py. All right, let me go ahead and maximize this. OK, all right, and as you can see, there's a lot of um, you know, signal in the area. You can actually see on the far left, that's uh, channel 1, and on the far right would be channel 14. And what's kind of a fun thing to do here is if Shannon, uh, you want to actually hit that microwave, we've got a microwave here in the little kitchenette at the office. 
and look at it just go crazy. Isn't that fun? I know. Wi-Fi interferes. This is great. Anyway, all right. I know that that's, uh, thanks, you can go ahead and kill that. I know that's a lot of info, and uh, we're going to just go ahead and stop right here and pick up next time with compiling the Kismet uh, from compiling Kismet from source so that we can actually use the Ubertooth plugin, and then going ahead and pack, uh, packet capturing our first Bluetooth packets. Then we're going to go ahead and install Wireshark plugin so we can finally analyze all of that good stuff. And if you haven't already checked out, you can find the Ubertooth one at hackshop.com along with all of the documentation and the source files if you're crafty enough with a soldering iron and eager to build your own. Now stay tuned because in just a bit, Shannon's going to be introducing her user picks for multi-boot USB creators. But first, let's take a quick break and then check in with Kirby for the Meow of the Week. T-Mobile's great selection of tablets, laptops, sticks, and their new mobile hotspot gives you the freedom to stay connected with high-speed internet on the go. Affordable high-speed internet when and where you want without overages. Mobile broadband data plans start at just $29.99 per month and current T-Mobile voice customers save an extra 20%. Now the G Slate with Google is T-Mobile's first 4G Android tablet and allows you to take your HD entertainment anywhere. Stay connected with blazing fast speeds and the G Slate with Google is T-Mobile's first 4G tablet and allows you to take your HD content anywhere. Stay connected with blazing fast speeds when and where you want, no Wi-Fi needed. Immerse yourself in the entertainment you love. Download apps, play games, stream video, and check your favorite websites. T-Mobile provides mobile broadband services that allow on-the-go wireless high-speed internet through your choice of portable devices. 